In tonight's rewrite, the soft bigotry of low expectations. Today, the smartest thing I read about the trial of George Zimmerman was a tweet about last week's testimony. Those who wanted to understand Rachel Gentel did. Those who wanted to demean her found their path. Bill O'Reilly's substitute host last week did not try very hard to understand Rachel Gentel. We have to excuse her poor manners, her disrespectful language, and cocky ignorance because she's black? Left-wing elites fall all over themselves to avoid criticizing behavior among black youth that they would never tolerate from most upper-crust white kids, like the use of the N-word or the F-word or the C-world. Oh, when that happens, just chill out. This is an example of what Daniel Patrick Moynihan called the soft... ...isn't an upper-crust white kid. And by the way, how many upper-crust white kids can speak Haitian Creole, which is Rachel Gentel's original language, and Spanish and English, her second and third languages? That's two more languages than the host of the O'Reilly Factor can speak. Laura Ingram really thinks upper-crust white kids don't use the F-word. Really? Does that mean that lower crust white kids do and middle crust white kids do use the F word? And do they use such horrible language because we have low expectations for non upper crust white kids? Are lower crust white kids also the victims of the soft bigotry of low expectations? This is an example of what Daniel Patrick Moynihan called the soft bigotry of low expectations. Except he didn't. Daniel Patrick Moynihan never, ever said those words. Laura Ingram wishes he did because Senator Moynihan had a very liberal voting record in the Senate and right-wingers love to bolster their arguments by quoting liberals whenever possible, just like I like to quote Ronald Reagan on progressive income taxation and banning assault weapons. The soft bigotry of low expectations is, as most of you know, a very famous phrase from a very famous politician way, way more famous than Senator Moynihan, and that politician repeatedly used the phrase in both of his successful campaigns for president. I will confront another form of bias, the soft bigotry of low expectations. This principle is challenging the soft bigotry of low expectations. How could the O'Reilly factor get that so wrong? How could Laura Ingram attribute that very famous line to anyone but George W. Bush or Michael Gerson, the speechwriter who has publicly claimed credit for putting those words in President Bush's mouth? One way to get it so wrong is to use a couple of right-wing websites as your source for that quote because they obliviously attribute it for some weird reason, to Senator Moynihan. Michael Gerson tells the story of how he got Bush to use that phrase in Gerson's book about putting words in Bush's teleprompter. This is not a hard fact to find or even hard to remember Bush saying it as I have always easily remembered. But no one expects Fox News to get the facts right. Not even loyal Fox News viewers. The O'Reilly factor has been proven wrong to them on facts countless times with or without a guest host. Being wildly wrong on facts is not a problem for the factor because when it comes to getting the facts right, the factor audience has learned to have very low expectations.